Hello everybody, this is Arcop again, and this is going to be a little different than I originally planned for, because with how long the deliberations were going, I thought we were going to have a little bit of a case of mistrial, but lo and behold, as most of you probably already know by now, Kyle has been found guilty, not, no, he is innocent. Fully innocent on all accounts by the jury. So, congratulations, Kyle. I had no doubt that you were innocent myself. But the way the things were going, I thought we might have had a mistrial. But I was wrong. Apparently, my original idea was right. You're innocent. So, but I will touch on a few things that I was going to add to that video. And that is why this case is so important to me. And how I feel is important to everybody. Now, self-defense is a hot-button topic in many cases. You can have a lot of things go wrong in the self-defense moment. People can die. People can be seriously injured for the rest of their lives. Lives can be ruined if, in trials like this case, the person was innocent but found guilty. Like, just imagine how much damage would have been done to Rittenhouse's life if he was found guilty today. He wouldn't be able to get a job. He would be locked up for a good long time. And the risk of getting harmed in prison. Man, just imagine that. Now, you also get to take into account the state of politics today. They were divided right down the line into railroading from the beginning like certain ones the first thing I've been hearing and I've actually seen in my time too is that some people actually thought Kyle was running around like a maniac trying to kill black people now that wasn't the case not at all the fact that it was a BLM rally and Antifa was there too. Was all that brought that in. It was a political lynch job. As far as I could see. Because they wanted to turn Kyle Rittenhouse into the Sandman. If he beca became a school shooter. That's what I saw it as. Sandman as a school shooter, right? And that was a nasty, nasty way to go. You don't want to ruin an innocent kid's life over a political hot-button topic created to create division and violence. Now, there are some things in this trial that really, really got me. Feeling very, very queasy that people even bring it up. And that was the great moment of the prosecution when they say, Sometimes you have to take a beating. Now, anybody who's been to abuse or been in a situation like having to defend themselves would find that highly offensive like what are you supposed to do you're in a situation that you are in fear for your life and that person isn't armed but you are but you still feel you're in, in danger maybe you're outnumbered maybe you're cornered you don't know 
And what, you're supposed to just drop your gun and let someone beat you up? Possibly kill you? Before you can claim self-defense? Sorry. I do not subscribe to that. You do not put yourself in a position to be in a worse position if you're defending yourself. That is nonsensical. That is completely ridiculous. What I do say is this case is highly historic. It proves that despite all odds, despite all the negativity that is thrown to this poor kid, common sense and rationality rule the day. Twelve rational people got together and unanimously decided that this was not a case of guilt. This was not murder. This was not intentional hero play. This was genuine self-defense. And I couldn't be happier. As for the politicians and all those people trying to hang poor Kyle, sorry. But, we don't need another patsy to divide the United States. We don't need another example of the United States to make people here in Canada go to the leftist type of thing. Like, normally I'm not political. But... The way things have gone these past few years, it's hard not to be. But, I gotta say, everything worked out. And, whether you hate this verdict or not, the facts came out. It has been decided. It's time to leave the poor kid alone and get on with his life. So this is our top saying congratulations Kyle, you deserve to rest and celebrate. And good night everybody.